Do sea snakes shed their skin? How long do anemones live for? Why are starfish so colourful? G'day wildlife friends, it's Nathan from the Wildlife Movement here with your questions of the week. Every week we pick three questions to answer from our students or our viewers. So if you have questions of your own, make sure that you leave them in the comments below this video. Our first question for this week comes in from one of the children at Big Fat Smile at Bingara Gorge. She wanted to know, do sea snakes shed their skin? This was such an amazing question and I had to do a little bit of research to find out the answer. All snakes need to shed their skin and sea snakes are no exception. Sea snakes do this by rubbing themselves against coral, rocks or other hard surfaces in the ocean to loosen their skin. This loose skin eventually catches on something and the snake continues to swim forward, leaving their old skin turned inside out behind them. Sea snakes shed their skin every two to six weeks, which is much more frequently than the snakes on land need to shed their skin. They do this to get rid of any toxic chemicals that they may have ingested and to also get rid of any marine fouling organisms that may have settled on their skin. These marine fouling organisms like barnacles and algae stop the sea snakes from being able to swim efficiently and from being able to catch their food. Our second question is one that we are usually asked by lots of students in our programs. They all want to know how long do sea anemones live for? The lifespan of sea anemones are likely to be different for different species. Some information sources say that they live for anywhere between 80 to 100 years, whereas others say that they can live forever because they are able to produce clones of themselves. One of the oldest sea anemones that I was able to find information about was a beetle an anemone that was named Granny. She was collected from the coast of Scotland by a naturalist named John Daliel in 1828. At the time that she was collected, it was estimated that she was around seven years old. She then spent the next 23 years living in a glass jar while being cared for by Daliel before he died in 1851. Granny was then cared for by several other naturalists until she died in 1887 at the age of 67 years old. Throughout her long life, she was estimated to have had over 600 offspring and she was credited as the pioneer for the new movement where people would keep marine animals in aquariums in their living rooms. Our third question for this week was asked by one of the children in our vacation care programs at the International Grammar School in Sydney. They wanted to know, why are starfish so colourful? I love looking at all of the colours in our sea stars, so I am more than happy to answer answer this question. Starfish can come in a wide range of colours from blue to orange to purple to green. These colours help them to blend into their surroundings and to warn their predators that they may be poisonous. For example, carpet sea stars, which are found off the coast of Australia, can have a bunch of different colours in a mottled pattern. These colours and patterns are very similar to the colours and patterns found in the lichen and algae that are found growing on the rocks in the rock pools where they live. This helps them to camouflage with their surroundings and helps them to stay safe from all of their predators. That wraps it up for this week's question of the week video. If you found this video interesting, please make sure that you give it a like and you may want to check out the rest of our question of the week videos in this playlist right here. I appreciate you so much for sticking around to the end of the video and until next time, keep living the wild life.